In today's video, we are checking out Waikiki Oceanfront restaurants. We're doing a mixture of casual dining as well as the fine dining. Right now, we're at How Tree Bar. We're going to go to each of these different restaurants, mention a few things off the menu, and then show you the view of how close you are to the water. You can also head to yestohawaii.com for even more Hawaii content. How Tree Bar is here at the Hilton Hawaiian Village, and a few of the items that you could order, I'll just read off a few things from the menu. They've got sandwiches, garlic shrimp, poke bowls. They do have some beer spirits, of course. For non-alcoholic drinks, they have smoothies, regular soft drinks and juices, fries, fruit cups, popcorn, shrimp, and then a whole page of cocktails, um, lava flows, frozen cocktails, and so forth. So again, we are at How Tree Bar. And then to show you a little bit of the seating area, fully open air over here. Ocean is just directly right in front of us, so steps away. They do have regular sit-down table and chairs, but they also have a regular bar too. All right, we're gonna head on to another restaurant here at the Hilton. For our next spot, we're still at the Hilton Village. We're at Bali Oceanfront. They serve breakfast and dinner. They're closed now, so we can't show you that, but we'll show you a sneak peek and you can see where the view is. Ocean view, just right over there. You can get one of those outside tables and there's also tables that go all the way around to the far right-hand side. All right, on to the next one. And to show you a little bit for the menu again, this spot has both breakfast and dinner. For breakfast, some of the options include fresh fruit, waffles, eggs, let's see here, seasonal berries, some sides that you could order include bacon, fried rice, different types of omelets that you can order. And then for dinner, see here, for starters, a couple different options. There's the Bali shrimp cocktail. They have clams, salads, pastas, garlic, lobster, ravioli. And then for mains, a few different options, lamb chops, mahi-mahi, lobster, chicken, and so forth. And they have different types of steak. You could also mix the two if you wanted to get a little bit of steak and lobster, and then some more sides. Here's another quick little shot of some of the food that they offer. We showed you guys a little bit of the view earlier, and now on to the next one. We were just over at Bali Oceanfront. It's over at Rainbow Tower. And then to show you a little bit of what's across, right across from it, over here is the pool. Over here on the right hand side is the place we just were at earlier today. And then that area, that second floor over there is the Bali restaurant we were just at. And then to show you a little bit more of the restaurant, right across from us is the beach. Just steps away. For our next restaurant, we are still at the Hilton Hawaiian Village. This one is Tropics Bar and Grill. We grabbed one of their menus to give you a little bit of an idea of what they have to offer. They offer breakfast, lunch, and dinner. For breakfast, if you're a late riser, this might be the place for you. Breakfast is available until 2 p.m. Avo toast, two eggs any style, loco moco. If you haven't had a loco moco before, it's a beef patty on top of rice and gravy. Other options they have for their menu, they've got chicken wings, salads, shrimps, burger. Let's see. Other local specialties, they have poke bowls as well. There's a bento mix pork ribs and then for drinks they have a full bar of course tropical cocktails blue hawaii the kawaii thai which is pretty good and then oh i like this part too i like whenever restaurants have zero proof cocktails or mocktails readily accessible at the menu so they have island sunset which is a mango pineapple orange grenadine ice cream smoothies soft drinks of course and juices a couple different options and then next we'll show you guys a little bit of what the view looks like and now to show you a little bit of how close we are to the water and the beach is right there. So it's an oceanfront restaurant, really gorgeous. Not all the seating is out here. There's some seating that's in the back as well that's indoors and they have a stage, they have live music certain evenings. And now on to the next one. And then for some of the back seating that I mentioned earlier. So for dinner, this can get quite busy. So all this section here is open seating as well, but not the ocean view. And of course, they have a full bar as well. Next, we're at the Halico Hotel. They have a couple different spots you can check out here. First option is their pool snack bar, walk-up service, and then they have all of this open seating over here. I'll show you guys a little bit of the menu, but lots of seating and the beach just right again, right over there. Then for the pool snack bar menu, there's a few different options. They offer salads, sandwiches, desserts, full bar, of course. So some of the options, let's see, chicken Caesar, tuna salad, deli wrap, giant chocolate chip cookie, a few different tropical drinks, 
They do have military discount, so just by comparison, public price is $13, military price is $10.40 for these cocktails. Halakoa Mai Tai, Passion Punch, a few other options here. They also have a few blended drinks and then beers, sparkling wines, soft drinks as well, of course. We'll head on over to the next spot in the Halakoa and show you guys what that looks like, as well as the view to show you how close to the water you are. Right across from the pool snack bar we were just at, still at the Halako Military Hotel, is the Barefoot Bar. So Barefoot Bar is open from 11 a.m. until 10 o'clock, open seating, so we'll show you guys a little bit of that view as well. And then for the seating, all open air seating, they do have some of these umbrellas for shade or if it ends up being rainy later on. We'll grab one of the tables and then go over the menu with you guys real quick. All right, let's take a look here. So some of their menu options for the Barefoot Bar, same as at the Pool Bar, the options for pricing vary. For military pricing, 1040, public pricing is 13. They have a couple of tropical blended drinks. They've got the Halekoa Mai Tai, Sea Margaritas, Sunset Lemonade. See, tropical drinks, same as the other menu, but just to give you guys some options. So we are located just here, and again, water is right behind us. Another one of the oceanfront bars and restaurants here in Waikiki. On to the next one. And now for our next spot, we have this bar directly behind me and to show you how close you are to the water, just literally steps out in front of us. These seats and these tables are maybe 10, 15 feet away from the sand itself. You can grab a couple cocktails and drinks here. You've got Diamond Head view right in front of us and then ocean directly in front of us as well. Gorgeous view, on to the next one. But first, let's take a quick look at the menu. So mostly just drinks here, tropical drinks, beer, wine, seltzers, and some snacks. They do have chips, hot dogs, and a few quick bites. But as you can see, it's there, steps away, ocean directly in front of us. And this sign references the other two spots we checked out earlier, Barefoot Bar and the Pool Snack Bar. There it is, perfect view. And now we're on to my favorite new spot, Monkey Pod at the Outrigger Reef. This is a sister property of the Moku restaurant, which is in Kaka'ako. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that I love this restaurant. So I'm super stoked that they now have this location in Waikiki. They do have a kid's menu, their happy hour runs 3.30 to 5, and the food happy hour is pretty good. Pizzas run about $14 on happy hour compared to $22 at regular price. Lots of cocktail options. The monkey pod Mai Tai is my favorite. And then for the appetizers, chicken wings are super good. Ravioli is really tasty. Here, I'm gonna walk you guys through the restaurant. Again, restaurant is quite a bit bigger, but we're only going straight in and straight out. I wanted to show you guys what the ocean view looks like. Now, if there is a wait time for the restaurant, you can also ask if you're over the age of 21 to go sit at the bar instead. A lot of people will typically do that. They'll put their names down for a table and then head over to the bar to grab a quick cocktail or mocktail until their table's ready. Oh, <laughs> oops, didn't realize you're filming. And as you can see, ocean directly in front of you. And that's Diamond Head just right over there on the left-hand side. Gorgeous, gorgeous restaurant. Beautiful. For our next set of restaurants, we're going inside the Halu Kalani Hotel. They have a mix of everything from the cafe all the way up to all the bells and whistles. Let's go inside. Next, we have House Without a Key. Some of their menu options, let's see appetizers and small plates. They've also got salads, let's see shrimp, margarita pizza, vegetarian pizza, dinner plates, including chicken, fresh catch, ribeye steak, and a few other options. We'll show you guys a little bit of the view, and then right this way. This place is one of my favorites, and I actually just had my birthday there this past year. And then to show you a little bit, they have live music. Diamond Head is on our left-hand side, and the water is right there in front of you. Another gorgeous oceanfront restaurant. And then just right across is Orchids, another restaurant. They're closed right now. They're open later on in the afternoon, but just to show you a little bit of Orchids, again, right there, right in front of the water, another gorgeous ocean view restaurant. Next, we're at the Sheraton Waikiki, and we're gonna head on inside to show you a couple of their oceanfront restaurants. We're inside of the Sheraton Waikiki, which is the oceanfront restaurant, not to be confused with the Sheraton Princess Kailani, which is not the oceanfront Sheraton. We're gonna show you guys two of the restaurants. We're gonna go to Rumfire, and we're also gonna check out the edge of Waikiki. That one's more of a beach bar. 
Um, but we're gonna check out both of them and show you guys a little bit of the menu to see what's offered here. We snagged one of the menus to show you guys what's here. So at Rumfire, a couple different options. They've got, let's see, seasoned fries, nachos, salad. They have a kid's menu as well. Comfort plates, so cheeseburgers, grilled cheese sandwiches. And then if you wanted a bit of a heartier portion, they also have steak, mahi-mahi, let's see, shrimp and clam pasta, some desserts, and then of course a full cocktail menu as well. So they've got their Rumfire Mai Tai. Let's see here, the daily ritual. And then a few that are zero proof. So they have a hibiscus ginger beer as well. Full wine selection and seltzers. So just to show you a little bit of the view, ocean front right over here, all of this area for open style seating. And then there's also seating over there. Diamond Head is directly to your left hand side. And we'll show you a little bit more of what the view looks like and how gorgeous it is. And then just to show you a little bit more of the view, ocean directly in front of us, right on the water. Diamond Head again on the left-hand side. Gorgeous, beautiful option, great restaurant. All right, we're gonna head on to the next one. Next, we have the edge of Waikiki right here on the water. Unfortunately, right now it's closed, but hours, just to show you guys, cocktails are 11 to five. Last call's at 4.30. It's about 4.45 in the afternoon. They do have live entertainment earlier in the evening. We'll show you guys a little bit of the menu. So just to read off a couple options, they have avocado toast, green salads, they have a kid's menu. They do have a few different cocktail options and they also have a non-alcoholic option as well. And then to show you guys what this looks like for some of the seating and then right here by the water. Not sure if the mic is picking up the sound, but the ocean waves sound pretty amazing right now in the afternoon. All right, on to the next one. Next, we're at the Royal Hawaiian Hotel, known for its signature pink color. We're gonna check out a couple different restaurants in this property, one of which is one of my personal favorites, Mai Tai Bar. Casual dining option, right by the water. They have live music, but if you're thinking something a bit more fine dining, there's also the restaurant Azure as well. They aren't open just quite yet. It's still earlier in the afternoon. They open closer to five, but just to show you a little bit of what you can get here at the Royal Hawaiian. And now for our next restaurant, we're here inside of the Royal Hawaiian Hotel. There's a couple different spots you can check out. Over here on the right hand side where you can hear a little bit of the music, that's the Royal Hawaiian Luau. We've done a video of that before. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And then over here, they have two main restaurants. There's Mai Tai Bar over here, which is oceanfront. And they also have Azure. Azure opens at five. And there's also Mai Tai Bar here on the right hand side. And then just a little bit of their menu. They have the Mai Tais, they have the Vix 44 Mai Tai, the Royal Hawaiian Mai Tai for $21. Oh wow, Ali'i Mai Tai for $40. A few different options for handcrafted cocktails. More wine and then different entrees you can choose from. So they have short ribs, filet, ahi, pancakes, or pink palace pancakes, desserts, salads, sandwiches, lobster roll. Let's see here, oh, and they also, oh, they have a kid's menu as well. We'll show you guys a little bit of what the view looks like. We'll head this way. And then to show you the view and how close you are to the beach, if you grab your table just here, you're literally steps from the sand. Diamond head on your left-hand side, ocean views all around. All right, on to the next one, guys. I mentioned two restaurants. The first one I mentioned was the Mai Tai Bar, which we just walked through. And the second one is Azure. They're not open just yet, but just to show you what the seating looks like, they have this outdoor section here, and they also have the indoor seating as well. But again, just to show you how close you are, right by the water, oceanfront. But again, for these types of restaurants, if you're getting the restaurant for the view and it's winter season, right now it's February, the sunset is around 6, 6, 30 in the evening. Do not make a reservation for seven o'clock. It's gonna be pitch black. You're not gonna see anything. You wanna make your reservation earlier in the evening, say 5, 30, 6 o'clock at the latest. You can get some great views, great photos, and enjoy your meal. On to the next one. Next, we're here at the Outrigger Waikiki, which has two famous oceanfront restaurants. First is Duke's Waikiki, which is on the lobby level, and there's also Hula Grill Restaurant. Let's check those both out to show you guys what those views look like. On the ground level here, we have Duke's Restaurant. They do have live music on certain nights of the week. And there's also Hula Grill, which is upstairs on the second floor. We're gonna head on inside to show you guys what the view looks like.
But first, let's take a look at the menu. So for Hula Grill, to mention some of the options, for breakfast, 7 a.m. to 11, they've got avo toast, they've got a kid's menu, omelets, mimosas, and let's see here. For lunch, they have a couple different options, grab and goes, mushroom fries, Hula Grill tacos, beers on top, and wines, full cocktail list. And then for lunch, which is 11 o'clock till three, They've got some fish sandwiches, chicken tacos, burritos. And then the last portion for dinner, they have fresh ketch, ahi, some shrimp pasta, steaks, and lots of desserts. They have the hula pie. Definitely try the hula pie if you can. Super delicious. It's like an ice cream pie. Um, and they serve it at both Hula Grill and at Duke's. All right, so we'll head on side to Duke's. So it gets really busy here. They also have a really good buffet option that you can choose. Their buffet is super tasty, and if you can hear the music through the mic, they have live music tonight as well. Let's take a quick look. And then this is the view. Live music right up front. Depending on where you get seated, either out here or in the dining room area. View, super gorgeous, ocean right in front of us. Absolutely beautiful. All right, we're gonna head out and we'll head over to Hula Grill next. Next we have Hula Grill. Lots of open seating on the left. And then of course the Lanai seating right up front. And then for this one, this is right above Duke's restaurant. All right, we'll head on to the next spot. Next we're heading into the Moana Surf Rider Hotel to show you one of my favorite oceanfront restaurants. All right, let's head on in. So there's a couple different restaurants here on property. There's a spot where you can get afternoon tea on the left-hand side. There's Beach Bar, which is one of my favorites. And there's also Beach House, which is for fine dining. So to show you a little bit of the area, it's all open seating at the Beach Bar. They've got a few different menu options, cocktails, full bites. And we'll show you a little bit of how close you can get. And then over here on the left-hand side, there's a stage. And at the stage, they'll typically have live music during the evenings. <laughs> and then just here, you can see the view. Super gorgeous ocean views. We'll take a little bit steps further down. And then ocean views right in front of you. And then on the left-hand side, you've also got Diamond Head. For this specific restaurant, reservations um, can't be made for Beach Bar. However, if you want to get dining at Beach House, which is over here on the left-hand side, that one you can make reservations for. Beach House is the option that is the fine dining restaurant and Beach Bar is a bit more casual. And don't think I forgot about the most important part, the menu. So we snagged one of these off the table. So for Beach Bar, just to give you a little bit of an idea of what they have here, they have their appetizers, Caesar salads. They have a few local favorites, poke bowls, salmon. Let's take a look. For entrees, they of course have steak. The garlic shrimp is pretty good. Price point's about 30 bucks. Very, very garlicky. They have fresh catch. They do have veggie burgers, regular burgers. They have a full kids menu. They have banana bread pudding for dessert. See, and then on the back, they've got a full wine list, of course. Red wine, white wine, bubbles, Prosecco. They have their Moana Sunset Mai Tai. That's one of my favorites here as well. And they have the 1944 Mai Tai. Other classics, Pina Colada, Lava Flow. And they also have zero proof cocktails, which again, that is one of my favorites. I hate whenever you go to restaurants and they only have soda for the zero proof cocktail option. Zero proof tropicals, they have the Banyan Swirl, which is ube, coconut, lime, and mint. They have the Surf Rider Sunrise, which has passion fruit. They have smoothies, fresh juice, of course, and they also have a refresher option as well. All right. That'll wrap up everything that you can see here in Waikiki that has different oceanfront restaurants, a mixture of casual dining options as well as fine dining. On to the next one, guys. On this one-page planner, you have everything that you need where you can jot down your details for your hotel, rental car, tours and activities, things that you want to do, and a general itinerary. Right now we're at high, right now, I forgot where we are.
Let me start again. Let me go again. And it's located at Rainbow Tower at the Hilton Hawaiian Village. And then right across. <laughs> Another reason why I don't like birds. <laughs> And then... <laughs>